Stone. Oh, who's this little guy? Oh, it's a maggot. Yeah, maggot. Die, maggot. Garden mushroom. Oh, <laughs> he must have just eaten. All right, survivors, welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is February 25th, 2016, and we're about to take Portal Nights out for a short spin. And we shall kick the proverbial runestone tires and see what she's got under the hood. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a good grasp of what this game is all about, at least the basic gameplay anyway, and whether or not it's something that you wish to pursue any further. And if it is, if you do like what you see here, if you're just curious about uh, more details, and there will be a link down below in the description that'll bring you to the Steam store page, and you can do uh, your own investigation work because I clearly will not be able to show you everything in 20 minutes. And that's about what we shoot for here. 20 minutes of gameplay. Right off the bat, so let's do it! Now, first, nitty gritty, before we get uh, do anything. This is on Steam, it's an early access game, came out today. Um, it is the number one seller currently on Steam, in fact, at the time of this recording. It's for Windows only, it's 15 bucks, but it's on sale right now for eleven ninety nine. It's for, uh, did I say Windows only? It's for Windows only. It is a action RPG in a fantasy setting. Single player, four player co-op, yada yada yada, sandbox. Uh, buzzwords, let's go. So there are three classes. You can be male or female. Um, you can be a warrior, ranger, or mage. So it's got all the three archetypes to choose from at this point. And why would you wear your pajamas to battle? Yes. All right, we're going to go with the warrior because I like to hit things with sharp sticks. And because everybody else that's doing this on YouTube right now are playing the, uh, the ranger and the mage. So I figure we'll do something a little different. But you know what? Let's do a girly girl. Sometimes you just want to be a girl. So let's, in fact, let's be a shield maiden. Nope. Mm-mm. Give me a ponytail. Oh, gosh, what was that? That right there. And you, you guys might be know, you might know where I'm going here. Uh, let's go a little more dirty blonde. Eh, well, I guess that's good. Hold up. If you are a fan of the History Channel and the Vikings... Uh, <laughs> You may know where I'm headed right here. I like the little ears and the studs. That's cute. And eye shape. Everything else is perfect. Although, let's get a little crooked mouth going there. I like the crooked mouth. Yeah. She knows something you don't know. And she's a toughie. All right, let's go. So, here, here's here's what, who I'm making here. Lagatha. Lagatha the shield maiden. Viking shield maiden. That's the Vikings on History Channel. Awesome. In fact, it's on tonight, you guys. Okay. So, we can play uh, with other people. But I don't have any friends today, so we're just going to play a private game. We are a level zero warrior, Lagatha, uh, and she has no shoes. Poor girl. Let's get her some shoes. Let's delete that game world, and let's create a new one. So universe one, play. All right, here's the backstory. In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole, but the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Now the only connection between disparate lands are the ancient portals, and they are guarded by covetous fiends who lo- The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. I think it said they live in the darkness or something like that. So that's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's an action RPG. Again, play it alone, play it with friends. Uh, you hit things with swords, you craft, you build, you shoot stuff with arrows, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and here we go. So this is the tutorial level. We'll try to get through the tutorial level in about 20 minutes if we can. First things first, let's look around. We did. Uh, WASD to move around. W-A-S-D keys, that is. I'm obviously playing on the PC here. Um, and mouse to swing your sword. We did that. Check. And press B for inventory. And we have some inventory items here. I have the Founder's Edition, whatever this is. Pioneer's Cape. I got this from the developer, by the way. Um, they gave me this code a few days ago, and I meant to play it for you guys. Oh, she loves her cape! Look at her show it off! Shake it, baby! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, so, I have a few things here from the developers, that flag and the uh, the cape. It is an early access game. I don't know if I had mentioned that. Um, and I have done this tutorial at least once already with another character, so I kind of sort of know what's going on. All right, now let's press the middle mouse button, and this will show that we can play in first-person mode. And uh, we'll go back again, because that's what they want us to do. Check that off our bucket list. And now we're back in third-person mode. We have a free camera around. Kind of nice. I like to look at Lagatha. So I'm going to look at Lagatha. <laughs> okay, so what do we do now? Oh, attack an enemy with your weapon by using left mouse button. 
So we're on kind of a, a little island. This is a one particular biome, and there are several different types of biomes, but all the maps, all the world maps seem really small. And we, we travel between these maps via portals, hence portal nights. And um, we have to fix the portal that's on this map before we can go anywhere, but it's, it literally is just a floating island in the nebula. And again, it's all fractured, so the world is fractured. Let's take a look at that map again. So here's all the fractures. And we're here, obviously, and we're going to be going to the next biome there, which also increases in level and, uh, and then so forth and so on. So let's do it. Uh, attack an enemy. Yeah, let's go find some enemies. There's some slimes over here. So now here's uh, the combat, which is kind of interesting when you take on an enemy. Well, first of all, we get this guy, Aggro. He's coming after us, a little red slime. We're going to smash him. And now you'll note that we are now in a uh, sort of tactical mode. And we're locked on to the slime, and we can pull down the space bar and move left, right, forward, or back. So all the WASD keys, obviously, and, um, will give us this little dodge ability. Yeah, got it. Kill them. We got some XP and a blue portal stone shard. And that's that little blue guy. Whoops. All right, we can't do anything with the keys here yet because uh, it is early access and we can't remap. But that's what that is right there. Blue portal shard stone, and we need those to craft a portal blocks, portal stone blocks, to repair the portal to move on to the next level. So we have to get one. Oh, jeez, not that guy. What did he ever do to you, Lagatha, shield maiden? <laughs> Press the right mouse button to get out of the lock, because once you're locked in, she's a single-minded woman. She's going to take you down. <laughs> All right, let's get this last little green slime, and we're just going to brute force it. I'm not dodging nothing. There we go. Relax, girl, relax. Now, if you fall off the edge of the world, you will die. This is the mines. An old mine. Mining with a pickaxe is much faster. It sure is. But part of the point of this place is to get the stone. And we can... Well, we can punch it, or we can whack it with our sword. I guess we can... Oh, no, I put that... <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man, she is smashing that thing with her knuckles. Look at her. Shield Maiden, man. They don't make them like this anymore. Now, every time I get one, it puts it in my hand, and then she uses it to stick back on the wall. So let's get the sword back out. It's a little faster. Now, we're going to take this stone, and we're going to turn it into a um, an axe or a pickaxe tool to make this um, a little more efficient, this mining. So, yeah, everything pretty much is destructible and collectible. Obviously, we got the... the, the well, the blocks that make up the landscape, but we can take, like, torches and things, too. Snag it. There we go. Very cool. And then you can decorate your own home when, when we have a home. Right now, we're homeless. But we got a torch. We got minor healing potion. We got some cotton and blue portal stone shards. And, again, you can just whack anything you want. You want a little dirt? Take it. It's yours for the taking. There we go. Find high lookouts to get a better overview of the island. <laughs> like I said, this is... Uh, it is an island, or a, I guess, a, a shard of some sort. And it's very small. I don't know if the, if this is just because it's a tutorial level, or if the regular maps, when the regular, when the game is fully uh, released, if they're going to be different, larger, or what have you. Now, there's no fall damage, so we're just going to go way to the bottom. <laughs> there's a door here, which we can take. If you like it, sure. Let's bring that home, Lagertha. And there's a skeleton here. Oh, here he is. Yeah! I've got a sharp stick, and I know how to use it. And I can't wait to upgrade. We are going to be able to upgrade. This is an RPG, clearly. And, of course, that means we can craft new weapons and armor, and we are gaining experience here. And we'll be able to, uh, to get some new skills. Ta-da! This is what we're here for, the treasure. Oh, wait. Read the sign first. The brave adventurers who made it this far shall take the treasure they deserve, indeed. Yeah. And we got some healing pots, more stone. Oh, who's this little guy? Oh, it's a maggot. A maggot. Die, maggot. Garden mushroom. Oh, <laughs> he must have just eaten. I'm going to take this too because I love this fire pit. The king, Ragnar the king, would love this fire pit on his, on his porch. If I have one criticism... This is one of them. I can't aim that dang sword half the time. And now we have the fire pit. Very good. Now we can get out of here easily enough just by clicking on that. 
And then bring us back to the landing pad instead of climbing back out. Yay! Fresh air. And now we get to go over to the little house. And what we do here is we have to repair this broken crafting bench. Uh, oh, we need wood. <laughs> Lagatha, go get wood, girl. But first, put your fire pit out. Right there in the patio. Oh, it's lovely. We'll barbecue later. But first, there's killing to be done. Killing trees, that is. So the sword is degrading. We can repair it. I'll show you how to do that. Of course, we can just make a new one, too. But... Oh, watch out for the parrot. See, this is where it gets a little tricky. Targeting. The, seem the sword seems to have a mind of its own. So maybe let's go into first person mode. Maybe that's easier for collecting. It'll be easier once we get the tool. Once we get the, the, uh, the pickaxe thing. So we have, um, we've got cotton here. We've got alabaster bushes. Seeds, uh, fruits off that thing too. We can use that to craft the um, healing pots. But um, I really need the wood. Agatha needs the wood. And there we go. Just a little bit of wood. Excuse me. Oh, I've never fought in first person, but let's try it. Not sure. Ow. Not sure I like it. This is one angry parrot, and he's tough. Tougher than he looks. And now I'll just demonstrate the uh, potion swilling. There we go. And now there is a, obviously a day-night cycle. The sun is starting to go down. So let's run on home. Lagatha does not use doors. There we go. All right. <laughs> Fix it. Fix that. Upgrade. And voila. Like magic. We got a workbench. And, of course, the workbench opens up all sorts of new ingredients. We can make refined wood and make some cotton. In fact, I'm going to make some cotton right now because we can make some armor with that, I think. The blue portal stone here. We're going to craft up at least four of those. I think we need that. And there's a bunch of furniture. And we can get into other work bench, work benches, um, well, workstations, rather. Anvil, furnace, altar. And now we're going to make our stone pickaxe because that's part of the quest. And we got it. Oh, it went right into my bag. That's nice. And it looks like the game wants us to make a squire waistcoat. We are a squire. Right? Yeah. We're not, a, we're not one of them stinking wizards. So let's go ahead and make that. And now we have to put that on. Squire waistcoat is going to give us... Oh, she loves it. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And um, that's going to give us a little bit of extra health. Plus 20 health. And armor as well. Very nice. Okay, cool. She still doesn't have any shoes. <laughs> can we make you some shoes? I think we can. We can make leggings, which come with shoes sewed on the bottom. Let's go. Yeah, let's do that. We need more cotton. And well, let's get the tool out that we made. That's my inventory. There we go. All this stuff I'm just going to get rid of. You can plant seeds and grow some crops, which is kind of cool, but I'm not going to concern myself with that right now. Um, all right, let's go outside. I'll show you how this... Oh, wait. Actually, one more thing. Let's resharpen our sword here. Uh, we can make a sharpening stone with regular stone. And then you use those sharpening stones to repair your stuffs. So you select your weapon or tool, put it in your hands, and then you press the number of the sharpening stone. And it looks like it's on a cooldown. So I'm going to sharpen up my sword. There we go. Good girl. And now there's a whole bunch of cotton in the back here. So let's go out back and do some cotton picking. This is not shield maiden type work, I'll tell you. Oh, grab these. We're going to need these anyway. We need these chests of uh, these boxes as part of the quest. And that's going to give us some refined wood. And we can start rebuilding the house. But you know what? I got to get in there. We're not staying here long. <laughs> Don't worry about the house. All right, we'll whip up some more cotton and give this girl some shoes. Oh, wait, you got to take it out of there. There we go, some pants. All right, we don't have enough of the gauntlets, do we? Take the pants, and we do. Put on your pants. Oh, she loves those shoes. They're like Uggs, super expensive. And they won't last very long. You'll have to get more soon enough. And we got some, uh, some gloves. Wouldn't want to break a nail. And we don't have a any head armor yet, do we? No. 
All right. She does not do nails. I'm kidding. She's not that type of girl. There's nothing wrong with nails either. If you are that type of girl, just saying. Let's get that large door out of here. Some electro quartz. And I think we're done. Oh, we have to just do some, do a little building here in the house. So we have all this refined wood. And we can just kind of fix up some of this damage here that happened during the fracture or whatever. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe Lagatha did it. <laughs> there we go. We're done. Okay, stop building. You did it. And I think, I think that's everything with the exception of the portal. It's not a bad idea grabbing some of this stone too. Let's see how much faster the uh, harvesting is here with the proper tool. And it won't degrade your sword if you ain't using it to whack stones. But I want to get I want to get some of these uh, trees too. It's kind of cool. I like that glow when you're carrying it. See, there we go. A little more efficient. Of course, you can get upgraded tools eventually too. You know what? I would really like to level up. Maybe we'll do that and then go. Leave the dummy alone, <laughs> Lagatha. Come on. Focus on the slimes. You can hit tab to choose different uh, to choose a different target, but I just forget. I just forget. All right, that's great. Now, can I take that? This is a much nicer fire pit than the other one. It's it's a brazier, but it'll do. Okay, let's go fix the portal and let's blow this joint and go home. All right, well, it's way up there. So I think this is all procedurally generated too, by the way. Because this is not the same layout the first time I played. I don't remember this being up this high. And only portal knights know what lies beyond. Prepare well before you leave. Yeah, so it is a pretty good idea to collect as many resources from each biome before you move on. Because not all the biomes offer all the resources like the next biome we go to is not going to have any wood so it's not a bad idea to bring a bunch with you i don't even think there's a lot of stone there either and we should probably get our workbench oh man i forget the workbench let me go grab the workbench so if i do continue i'll at least continue playing lagatha here okay so i got my fire pit i got my workbench <laughs> and we're ready to roll out and move on to the next biome, new island, or whatever you want to call it. So we just have to repair this thing. You can see clearly that it's missing a few stones. And huzzah! Having opened the outgoing path, be wary of the invading wrath. Yeah, once you fix up one of these portals, you're going to start getting some um, evil knights passing through, following you around everywhere you go. But only at night, I think. Anyway, I'll show you the new biome, and then we're just going to have to call it quits. Like I said, I wanted to do maybe a 20-minute video. Dusty Mountains Level 2. So we have moved up to Level 2. And, oh, see, we've got some new resources here. We've got copper. This is obviously a, a new biome. New offerings. We're going to need that copper to make new tools and weapons and armor. And we're going to want some of this raw electro quartz. And there you go. I'm not going to take all of it. But just to give you an idea of what's unique here, we've got agave plants and cactus, which gives water. And the waters are used in making potions. And there's ruins and dungeons and there's new monsters here. There's going to be bosses. Um, I really honestly think the best way to play this game is going to be with friends. It's kind of boring alone. But up to four-player co-op. You know, one, maybe having three people, one of each class, because I imagine that they complement one another. With the tanks doing the tanking, obviously, and, oh, the wizards doing the wizardly things. And the scout shooting stuff from afar. And, and I think we get shouts. I think the warrior gets some kind of shout. Shouting ability, don't fall off the world. I gotta get out of here. Stinking maggot shooting fire. It's a fire breathing maggot! Never seen this like before. Let's kill it. Got it. Alright. I would like to get to level two. Who's this fella? He's kind of ugly. He's a greenhorn grunt. <laughs> greenhorn. 
How come there's maggots? Everywhere I go, there's a maggot. This place is crawling with maggots. Ow. Yeah, hopefully I can get a new weapon here, too, because this sharp stick just ain't cutting it. Wow, that hurt. Alright, let's drink up. Drink up a potion. Woo! What are you doing, dude? Are you done fighting? Kill this maggot. Oh, here we go. Check out this mine. Oh, man, another fire-breathing maggot. Here we have skeletons. Oh, it's a crazy bat. Ow. Ooh, that hurt. I think they just explode on you, don't they? Kamikaze bats. <laughs> oh, you just totally slapped me. You don't hit a girl, fool. What's wrong with you? That'd be a lesson. What is this? It's like a bag. Oh, it's got a heart in it. Sharpening stone. Yeah, I totally need a new weapon. Something fierce. Yay! Leveled! Two leveled up. All right, awesome. Let me just show you what we can do here. Press A, and now level two warrior. We click on this big button right here. <laughs> we get plus three to all of our attributes: strength, agility, and intelligence. And we finally get heart of a warrior, which increases strength by thirty percent. And I think all of the classes will have their own class-dependent type uh, talent, which will increase their main attribute. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I cannot make a new sword because there's no coal here. And we'll just have to get to the next, uh, the next biome, but I don't really have the time to do that. All right, guys, I can't quit yet. This wooden sword, the sharp stick, is an absolute travesty for a woman such as Lagatha, a Viking shield maiden. So we, we need to get a respectable weapon. We're out of here. I just wanted to make the last uh, blue portal stone here, and now it's time to get a roll on. So let's get to the next biome so we can get some coal, so we can smelt some copper, and then we can make our weapon. And we go into the emerald fields. So that's why I said it's important for you to gather as many resources from each biome as you pass through them as you can. So I, I probably should have grabbed more copper, but you know what? I'm just kind of limited for time here. So anywho, here we are. The Emerald Fields, a lovely place, and it has coal, lovely, deep, dark, black coal. And we can use it for smelting. And then we'll get ourselves a metal weapon. Thank goodness. Enough of this sharp stick stuff. Okay, yay, copper bars, here we go. Uh, I think I need three for the sword. Just go ahead and make all that I possibly can. And I'll show you the recipes over here on the forge. So we have a copper club, copper axe, which I love so much, but we can't make it until I get some scales. I think they changed that because I made this one time before. I don't remember scales. Um, the hammer. We're just going to make the sword, since that's about the only one I can make right now. Five copper bars, and I'm pretty sure we can start making some... Oh yeah, look at the Viking helmets. Viking armor, pretty sweet. I didn't know we could make a, um, a cotton helmet. I don't want to cover up Lagoth's beautiful hair anyway, so... No problem that. Alright, let us make our copper longsword, and now we're going to be able to give these nasties some what for. You get it. Where'd it be? There it is. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Let's see it. Lag it there. Get up there. Go on. Swing away. Oh, it's faster. So much faster. Let's try it out on this toitle. Here he comes. Oh. Yeah, he's doing his little spinny thing. Okay, much more damage. At least about six or seven more per swing. Oh, that was good. Ooh, what was that all about? Much better. Ooh, ooh, who's this fella? We got a plant. Ow. Ooh, it's tough. But I do feel more like a, a, a true shield maiden now. Got him. One down. Back it out, back it out, back it out. So it looks like we have another portal down here in the ground. And some fancy runestone or something. Ooh, what is that? A mighty mana potion. Okay, so it was like a uh, like a treasure chest or something. 
Anywho, the sun's going down. I just want to show you guys the enemies that come out of the portals at night. Because I don't believe I've, sh I've, I've demonstrated that just yet. So let's get over here, here to the portal. And I'm wondering where that other portal leads to. Maybe just uh, some kind of dungeon instance or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious, but uh, we're not going to get to it in this episode. Alright, guys. The sun has dropped. The moon is rising. And now I want to show you... Oh, there they are. The nasty Kniggets that come out of the portals at night. And here comes one now. Let's see if we can dry him away. I don't want to fight two at once. Oh, wow. Who shoots? It's a hollow night of thunder. We can take him. He's got some kind of electric bolts and explodey things. Okay. I'm gonna learn his attack, and then I can take advantage of his weaknesses. Get out of there! Ooh. Okay. Got him anyway. Meant to do that. Let's pop a potion. Yeah, let's go get his buddy. So they just keep coming out, I think. It's like all night. I'm not sure if we can stop them. Oh, man, I can't get up over that thing. It's one thing I don't like about that lock-on thing. This might be a little too much for Lagatha, even. All right, time to run. Discretion is a better part of Valor, after all. Ooh. All right, I'm going to head back home where it's relatively safe. Back over this way, and I think we're going to call it quits, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you want to see more, let me know. I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue, but depending on the response, number of likes on the video, and comments, and so forth and so on, I, I might. But uh, it really depends on, uh, on that and my schedule. Got kind of a full plate right now, but uh, let me know what you think anyway. So that's it for now. Again, this is Portal Knights. Um, did I just put that up in that tree? How the heck did I reach that from here? Oh, that's cool. You can. Oh my gosh, you can remote build. Ooh. That's really nice. What the heck is this thing? Oh dear, I, uh, I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.